Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do everything through him who gives me strength. Owe no man anything, but to love one another, for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet, and if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Please like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon. God has overlooked the times of such ignorance, yet now he is telling mankind that they should all everywhere repent. Because he has set a day in which he purposes to judge the inhabited earth in righteousness by a man whom he has appointed, and he has furnished to guarantee to all men in that he has resurrected him from the dead. The wife hath not power of her own body, but the husband. And in like manner the husband also hath not power of his own body, but the wife. For the moment all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Preach the word, be urgent in season and out of season, convince, rebuke, and exhort, be unfailing in patience and in teaching. And I want women to be modest in their appearance. They should wear decent and appropriate clothing and not draw attention to themselves by the way they fix their hair or by wearing gold or pearls or expensive clothes. For women who claim to be devoted to God should make themselves attractive by the good things they do. There are, for example, so many kinds of tongues in this world, and none is without voice. If then I know not the power of the voice, I shall be to him to whom I speak a barbarian, and he that speaketh, a barbarian to me. Yea much more those that seem to be the more feeble members of the body, are more necessary. And such as we think to be the less honorable members of the body, about these we put more abundant honor, and those that are our uncomely parts, have more abundant comeliness. But our comely parts have no need. Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and becomes obedient to death even death on a cross. Bottom line, outbursts of anger, including screaming, throwing things, banging inanimate objects, slamming doors, squealing tires, stomping around, making threats, shoving, restraining, cornering, or yelling down, all carry the threat of physical harm even if that threat is not intended. All these things are abusive, and completely unacceptable. Nothing a woman or man does, including any of the above, justifies doing any of these. If you are doing any of these, you have a problem, please deal with it before it escalates. Please subscribe thanks for watching.